Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to download a emulator for the original Xbox. All you need to do is head on over to the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you now need to scroll all the way down until you see a latest build release mode. You now need to click on this link and you need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading, we can drag this file to our desktop and we now need to right click on the file and go extract all. We now need to click on extract. And once it's finished extracting, you should now have a folder that looks like this. We now need to run the CXBX file and we need to click run. And this is what the emulator looks like. Straight away at the top we have OpenXBE which is the Xbox game files. Unfortunately I won't be able to show you where you can download these game files but I'm pretty sure a simple little Google will help you out. But if you click on the second link that's in the description below there is a massive list of all the games that are currently supported on this emulator. If I scroll down a little bit here you can see Jet Set Radio Future is working absolutely fine on the emulator. If we scroll down a little bit more we can see that games like Lego Star Wars 2 is partially working and we have Dinotopia which is partially working but there are lots of pages of loads of games that are currently working. Also if you do do a quick YouTube search simply type in YouTube CXBX and then just type in an Xbox game and then you will be able to see if it is currently working on the emulator. Let's just go through a few of the settings now that this emulator has to offer. Straight away on the first menu, that is where we can open up our games. If we go across one, we have edit. And if we go across again, we have our few modes, which we can adjust there. And if we go across again, we have settings, which is where we can configure our controller settings, our video settings and our audio settings. If we go across again, we have the emulation, which is where we can start the emulation of a game and stop it. And last but not least, we have the help menu. And that is it for this emulator. This really is the best emulator you can get when it comes to emulating the old original Xbox games. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.